Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series on AI tools for education. In this video, we're taking a look at EduAid. You can access the full list of all of the AI tools, videos, and links at bit.ly slash Kurtz dash AI tools. So EduAid is one of those tools that's similar to, um, I think we did Magic School the other uh, time. There's other ones like uh, um, Twee is a good example, or Almanac, where these are tools that collect together a whole bunch of pre-made AI prompts to save you time if you as an educator are wanting to, you know, uh, write a lesson plan or create an, uh, create an assessment or come up with a rubric and you're not really sure where to begin, well, a tool like EduAid has you covered because it has over 100 AI powered tools already created, ready to help you uh, create content for your class. These fall into a lot of different categories. They've got content generators, including you know planning and information objects and uh, questions and cooperative learning. There's an assistant tab. There's a feedback bot. There's an assessment builder. Uh, and all of these, you can typically just choose your subject area, your grade level, your content, and whoosh, away it will go. So let's pop on over to EduAid and take a look at this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and I'm already signed in, so I'll go ahead and just launch this real quick. And like I said, what you're going to basically get on the left-hand side are the tools, and the right-hand side is going to be what gets created. So going uh, on the left here, you'll see I have those different categories I mentioned, such as under planning, I could create, for example, a rubric or under informational objects. Maybe I want to generate a vocabulary list or under independent practice. Perhaps I want to come up with a choice board assignment. You get the idea. Cooperative learning, gamification, questions, multiple choice questions, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, there's other categories here as well, like there's the assistant tab that has professional duties. So help it'll help you write an email or to uh, create a newsletter outline. There's an accessibility section for accommodations and lexile increasers and decreasers. There's a wellness section with a bunch of SEL activities and more. Again, the idea is basically you're going to browse through these pre-made prompts, select one, and then choose Choose what you want to create with it. So let's say that we are going to do social studies and we're going to do middle school. And let's say we're learning about the Boston Tea Party. That's one of my go-to ones. You'll probably see me use it a few more times, uh, but let's just go with that. Let's say that social studies, middle school, Boston Tea Party. And let's say that I want to work on prior knowledge and scaffolding. Like what what do my students need to know before we start talking about the Boston Tea Party? What are some key things that we need to make sure we've covered? Well, if I make all those selections and come down here and click on the Add to Workspace button, give it a moment, and now it's going to start generating on the right-hand side the prior knowledge that they need, as well as some scaffolding activities that might help these students as they ease on into this new unit. Now, once that's been generated, I can just come over here and hit the copy button, copy that, paste it anywhere I want. Now I can use that however I want to use that, which is fantastic. Now, uh, I do like these kind of tools because I do understand sometimes you go to ChatGPT or you go to Bard or you go to Copilot and you're like, I'm not sure what to type in. I just got this, you know, blinking cursor in ChatGPT. I don't know where to begin. Well, a tool like this can be a really nice way to ease people into using AI because basically the prompts are already written. You're just giving it a couple of key items and it's going out and it's, and it is actually talking to ChatGPT. Uh, ed, uh, the EduAid tool does connect to ChatGPT. So basically it's just doing that job for you and providing a really nice, well-tailored prompt to get these results and then bringing them back to you. Now, could you go to ChatGPT and do the same things? Sure, absolutely. We could go there and say, hey, I'm a social studies teacher. I teach middle school and I need to teach about the Boston Tea Party. Give me a list of prior knowledge that my students should know and some scaffolding options that may help them. I could type that in. And I probably would get a very similar response. But again, that might not be where you're at yet. You're like, you know, honestly, I just I just want to be able to pick from a menu and have it generate these things. And this can be a good way to begin learning how to interact with AI and see, huh, I never even thought about that. That's a really great option to use the AI to do X, Y, Z.
All right. Now, as always with all these, we do mention about pricing. So this one, likewise, um, does have a free version and a paid version. The free version, it is a bit limited. Um, it is limited to 15 generations per month, which really is more of a, just kind of give you an idea, is this valuable to you? You can try it out. You can test this out and see if you're getting responses that you're happy with. Um, and if so, it is relatively inexpensive for the paid plan. It's Things about six bucks a month, five ninety nine a month, and that gives you unlimited generations at that point. So uh, compared to some of the tools, um, a little bit um, uh, slimmer on how many you, how many generations you can do for free, but they've partnered that with a relatively low price if you do want to move up to the paid version. Again, that is EduAid, a hundred pre-made, ready-to-go AI-powered tools to help you out. And for all my other resources, check out my blog at controlaltachieve.com. And to connect with me, go to bit.ly slash CAA-connect, where you'll find all of my social media links, email, newsletter, and more.